Now then guys, how are you doing? Back on the road again. So I'm in Midtown LA today. I have come to the most famous sandwich place, apparently here called Philippe's. Now Philippe's claims to be the inventor of the French dip sandwich. Get myself a French dip sandwich or two, all right? And I'm gonna judge if I think it's worthy of the fat man's seal. Come on. Oh, well, guys, look at this. Yeah, so, like I said, so, well, you can see it here. Look, news. How, how old are these? <laughs> wow. Oh, cameraman, look at pies. Yeah, this is going to be good this year, though. So, even the, the waitresses are dressed old style. Yeah. Well, right, guys, I think I, I know what I'm having. And I want to try. I have heard, right, that Coca-Cola here is a little bit special. So I'm going to wait until I order it, but supposedly it's a little bit different. Wow, what's that? Is that like coleslaw, potato salad? Yeah. Yes, well, thank you. I'm very well, thank you. Yourself? Good. So, can I please try one of the beef dip sandwiches? Yes. And one of the lamb dip, please. And then, can I also have a bottle of the Mexican Coca Cola, please? Yes, of course. That's all right, yeah. Hot mustard on the side is okay with that? Yes, that's fine, yeah. What else can I get for you? That's it, thank you. Alright, so I'll have you down for a beef dip, a lamb dip, and the Mexican Coke. Yep. Okay. $28.65, please. Lovely, thank you. Yep, whenever you're ready, you can tap insert or yep. swipe. Thank you. Would you like for me to dip the sandwiches or have the dip on the side? Uh, I'll let you dip them. We're going to have both sandwiches on the plate and on a tray yep. with the Coke bottle for you. That's brilliant, thank you. Okay. Yep. yep. Okay. So I'm going to go sit outside with a table. It's going to be out there. Yeah. Thank you very much. Of course. Thank you. See you soon. Right, guys, there you go. Big smile on her face. That, you know what it is? When you come into a place and you're ordering food, that is what you want to see, innit? You want to see somebody with a massive grin on their face giving you the customer service. It just makes you feel more friendly. Right, come on. Oh, guys. There we go. So, I am going to set my table up here. And hopefully, fingers crossed, right, that this sandwich is going to be really, really nice because I can already smell how good they are. Everybody is, just looks like they're enjoying it. So, I hope we help, cameraman. Right, let's get told knacker cracker away. Uh, right, chair test, here we go. There we go, bit of a stiff back today, guys. Oh. Oh. Right, guys, what a backdrop this is. I'm, I'm sat here, I can see hills and mountains here. Cars are flying past. I've got to say, out of my trip so far, New York, I enjoyed it, I loved it. But LA, the weather, it's not as, there's a lot more air to breathe here <laughs> than there is in New York. And I'm liking it. I like it. I like LA. Well, oh, I'm alright, mate. Thank you. Yeah, I've just moved my phone and it went, Good afternoon, Danny. How can I help you? You are not alone. <laughs> oh, here we go. It, it, it's full in here of families, friends, people of all ages really, just enjoying a sandwich. And this is what happens when you find somewhere right, that's good food. It doesn't matter if you go to the restaurant or if it's takeaway, but it can bring family and friends together. You can sit down and you can talk about loads and loads of things that you would have never talked about before, but you feel confident around a dinner table. 
It's amazing. Food is love. That's what I say. Saturday, a good meal between friends. You can't go wrong. So that's what I'm doing. We you guys. We're going to have a meal together. Unfortunately, I'm the only one eating it. So I'll tell you how it tastes. Eh? And just like the cameraman. Don't have no like you. <laughs> Sorry, man. Sandwich, beef, sandwich. Oh, here we are. Oh, look at this. Right. I have everything right over here. I labeled the lamb and the beef. This right. is the lamb right over here. Yeah. Beef, thinly sliced, and I brought you the bottle of the hot mustard to try it out. A little goes a long way. Very powerful stuff. Right. Yeah. So what's how, how long has Philippe's been here? Since 1908, but we had a different location. Um, I forgot. It was over by where the one they built the 101 in 1952. So that's yeah. why we moved over. over right and it's very because I, I spoke to some people in there and they're saying that uh, i think they've been coming here for 50 years yeah. and they're saying that it's just one of the best sandwiches and this is what i've heard so i'm i'm, I'm intrigued to it's try it it truly is yeah. honestly it's heaven in one bite can't wait thank you very much of course, thank you guys thank you bye-bye love right i'm armed with a bottle of pop and some mustard <laughs> right so let me talk about this first so Apparently, so this is Mexican Coca-Cola, all right? And what I've been told about this stuff is, is it is like the original Coca-Cola from 20, 30 years ago when it was just packed full of sugar, all right? The, the, and it's the original recipe. It's not being taken out. So I'm going to give it a go and see if it's a blast from the past. So here we are. Hey, do you know what? <laughs> I get that. That that does taste packed full of sugar. <laughs> wow. That is lovely. Right. So I'm going to try a bit without the mustard. Now, oh, oh. I'm going to try the lamb first because the beef is supposedly the best. So let's try the lamb. I chose the lamb because I'm a lover of lamb. Oh, my God. So... It has been dipped. Oh, look at that. Thinly sliced bits of lamb. Hey, oh, get off me, that's my beef sandwich. And it has been dipped. Oh my God, in the juice. This. Oh, could be heaven. Let's go for it. Cameraman. Oh. Oh, that dip. So what you've got, it's a bit of a... Get up mate, come on. Rusty roll. That's then been dipped in the gravy. So inside it's soggy. You've got beautiful cut of lamb there. It's absolutely delicious. Let me try this. So little goes a long way. Wow. Oh, that's a very strong mustard. <laughs> very strong mustard. Yeah, a bit too strong for me, that. Oh! I know, so if I were back home, I would be lathering that lamb in mint sauce. With that dip, it would be an absolute dream. Dreams, as my dad would say. Dreams. <laughs> right. Excuse me. This is the most popular one. Oh, it's just falling out. So again, nice crusty bread. Look at that thinly sliced beef. Again, inside. <laughs> oh, get that beef, cameraman. Uh, get that. Wow. Inside the bread, and then you can see the dip there. How it's been dipped. Wow. I would rather have it inside the bread. They offered it me to have it in a pot and you could dip it yourself, but I think this way, 
because it turns a bit of the bread soggy, that's really good. So I can't wait, let's go for the beef. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm a beef man and that is absolutely bang on. Let me tell you why. Because the beef is cooked to perfection and it is sliced really, really nice and thin and layered up. And because you've got that dip, that moisture on the bread, it just tastes amazing. It tastes amazing. Wow. What a sandwich. Right. Let's go through it. So we've got a crusty bread roll that they're dipping in the juices, in the gravy, whatever secret dip they're using. Filling it full of meat, we've got beef and we've got lamb, both of which are cooked to perfection. They taste absolutely gorgeous. The lamb one, like I said, for me, bit of mint sauce on that and that would just be popping. But that beef, oh my God. It's probably one of the best roast beef sandwiches I've ever had actually because of that uh, that dip as well that adds to the flavour. So guys, if you've been here to Philippe's, let me know what you think. If you've not been, I recommend Isla that you come down and try it out. If you want a beef sandwich while you're in LA, this is the place to come. For me guys, it's a nice, solid, easy 10. I am loving this. I'll see you next time. Cameraman, get yourself a sandwich and some Mexican Coke. Let's have it. Oh, yeah. Oh. Have you had something oh, on? Yes. Yeah, what did yes. you have? Oh, the beef. Uh -huh. So do you live around here? Is this where you live? Um, actually, I live in the San Gabriel Valley, which yeah. is like barely 15 mil minutes east of here. So do I you live in Southgate, which is like about 10 miles southeast from here. So you just meet up here for your sandwich? Yeah. Yeah. yeah We've been, been coming, coming since here. the 50s. Have you? Oh, yeah. With our parents. Since the 50s? Yeah. The sandwich used to be a dollar fifty. Used to be a dollar fifty. So what's the, what's the no, best one? Coffee was ten cents. All the time. What's the cents. what's the best sandwich? Yeah. Oh, that depends on the, the meat you want. The beef. They claim to be the inventors of the French dip sandwich. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They claim. Yeah. yeah. There's another restaurant, Coles, that also claims that. It's um, it's it's just you know really good beef. Yeah. You know, and then you can get the au jus, the the really good uh, juices of the beef. Yeah. And nothing on it. I mean, you can put mustard if you want. Yeah, but, but it just comes a roast beef sandwich. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. on a French roll. Yeah. yeah. And this place is great because you'll see all types, yeah. all yeah. economic levels, all. Right. Well, yeah. I, th yeah. I think I'll get one of them then. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. Yeah, you, you notice the old-fashioned booze, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Are they, are they still, do they still the work, or are they? The only restaurant left in LA County that's allowed to have sawdust on the floor. Is it? Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. people, um, Dodger Stadium is not too far from here, and people come before the game or after, after the, the game. After the game, get a sandwich. Or games at, yeah. UC, at USC, yeah. at the Rose Bowl. Uh, yeah, it's been around for decades. Yeah. We used to I'm up there on the wall, too. We were little, oh, yeah. little kids. There's a review up there from Sunset <laughs> Magazine. And He's famous. And how, and how long ago was that? How long ago was the review? It says 77 on the... <laughs> I, the I wasn't even born then, <laughs> in 77, <laughs> oh, another two well, years. I'm 47. Yeah. I'm 47. Switch that around. <laughs> 47, right. 47. Nice to meet you guys, I'm going to get yeah. on with you. Yeah. Right. My sister, I'm yeah. Steve, and it's a good friend Beto. Nice to meet you all. Vegas. Yeah, thank you. Danny. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm yeah. glad my sister asked. Ask yeah, there you go. Nice to talk. See you later, guys.